Reading and writing variable expressions. There are lots of different ways to say b plus 5. You learned b plus 5 when you were young, but you could also say the sum of b and 5. You could say b increased by 5. You could also say 5 more than b, 5 greater than b, 5 added to b. Do you see how these first three, we said it in the order we saw it, but these more than, greater than, and added to reverse your order. You say the 5 first and the b last on those. Let's look at subtraction. y minus 4. You could also say the difference of y and 4. y decreased by 4. 4 less than y. 4 subtracted from y. Multiplication. You might have 7k. You could say 7 times k. The product of 7 and k k multiplied by 7. Remember a variable and next to a constant next to a variable means to multiply there. And then division. d divided by 3, the quotient of d and 3. And don't forget you might also see division written like this with the fraction bar d divided by 3. So practice. Write each phrase as a numerical or algebraic expression. 5 less than 9. That would be 5 minus 9. y divided by 4 Write that lots of different ways. G minus 7 would be G minus 7. D multiplied by 3. You write D times 3, but the way that you need to start looking at it is 3D. The constant always has to come first and the variable second. Write two word phrases for each expression. You could say A plus 6, but you could also say 6 more than A. Think of it this way, if Alyssa has some and you have six more than Alyssa, we need to know what Alyssa has first. Um, let's see, how about the sum of A and six? A and six, and here's your list for those. For Y minus nine, we could also say the difference of Y and nine. the difference of y and 9. You could also say 9 taken away from y. You can say 9 less than y. Less than y. Write each phrase as a variable expression. 32 plus a number. So you can use any variable you need. A lot of times people use n for an unknown number or x. The quotient of 6 in a number, so that would be 6 divided by n. We could also write this with the fraction bar, 6 divided by n. A number subtracted from 15, that means we need to have the 15 first and then we subtract the n from it. The product of 6 and k, that would be 6k. 6 less than a number, that would be n minus Six. Think this through to see whether the 6 or the n comes first. You have to give it some thought before you write it down. 6 less than a number means we have the number first, and then we take away 6.